see the world through my eyes Life is like a gamble every night Don't you slip up, this is do or die I'm on my mind, I'ma get it right Cause I'm golden, I was chosen I have Tourette's syndrome. For those of you who don't know, Tourette's is a neurological disorder that's characterized by involuntary movements, commonly referred to as tics. Before I was diagnosed with Tourette's, however, I lived an amazing life, pampered Punjabi and pakoras. I had nothing to worry about, just a mischievous little boy trying to have fun and play all day long with my boys. Tourette's changed my life. For most of my life, it defined me. That was who I was. I faced many challenges alongside having Tourette's. I was socially awkward and felt like I was the center of attention, whether it was a dinner, a party, or school. I just find it tough to adjust, and this made me feel extremely insecure. Tourette's made my school life a drag. School became a challenge for me in many ways. I was looked at as weird, crazy, and often called names for my tics. This made me feel even more insecure, and I didn't want to go to school after a certain point. It became harder for me to focus because I was embarrassed. I didn't even know I had Tourette's for around two years because I wasn't aware about it. I was often asked about it and I didn't know what to say. I didn't know the details of Tourette's and I should refer to it as my problem. This ruined my confidence as a child and made me feel like I was way different than all the other kids in a bad way. Especially in school, I used to feel like I was the topic of discussion. I used to feel like people used to make fun of me a lot and there have been instances where I've gotten into trouble for retaliating to people being fun of me by potentially calling me out. I didn't feel like this before the age of 10. I used to have a lot of fun and I used to enjoy life. Explaining to teachers was, a, was another tough part. In fact, one of the hardest. There were instances where I got into trouble because teachers felt that I was purposely trying to distract the class because of my vocal tics, clearing my throat, or making uncontrollable noises. Eventually, I left the moments in my life where I found studying very challenging and tough because I had Tourette's. I couldn't focus and I couldn't do the things that people often look at and say, you have to do this to be successful. People often look at people who don't study in a way that, oh, you won't get into good university, and therefore, you won't be successful in your life. My toughest subjects were math, science, and geography. I found it very challenging because not only do I have Tourette's, but I also have ADHD, another disorder that was coming in the way of success. STEM subjects are given a lot of importance, and therefore, it makes it harder for a child like myself to do something that society looks at and says it isn't the ideal way to become successful. It often hurt me, and I felt like I wasn't going to be successful in the future. I felt trapped. What was I going to do? I was frightened by the thought of not doing anything in my life. I was scared that I'd be looked at as a loser. There was no outlet for me at this time, and I had nothing to express myself. It wasn't the best time for me. I needed something different than anyone else. I needed a creative outlet. Something that I could use to prove to everyone that I could be successful and actually be really good at something. However, I feel like schools need to have more creative outlets that let people express themselves in a better way. A lot of parents also have a set stigma in the head that you have to study to read somewhere in your life. Meanwhile, I was different. I found something. Something that was the real me, the new me, and most importantly, something that let me express myself to the fullest. I found a creative outlet to let out my emotions. The creative outlet I found was music. I started producing my own music and figured out that it was something I loved from my heart. Something I could really do. Something I started doing every day. It was easily the turning point in my life. Music has made an amazing impact on my life because that was the first thing that I enjoyed a lot and I could use that to express myself. I've always liked music and when I started making my own music, it made me feel really happy. Music has made a huge impact on my life because it was me letting out my emotions. I couldn't study, so therefore I make music. Something else I'm good at. Something I can pursue my entire life. Music makes me feel like I have a purpose. To me, art has been healing. It heals me and honestly I think it could heal anyone who has challenges. People could use the arts to be successful and, and do something they enjoy. I'm into music production, and that's what I do to express myself, and I think I'm pretty good at it. When I discovered music, it was something I really liked, and it was different. I found out that I could focus on it for a long period of time. I've come up with three albums, and they're on more than 50 streaming platforms. I've gotten a lot of great reviews from the albums I've made, and I'm getting a lot of love, which makes me feel amazing. I want to inspire people all over the world who have disorders and challenges that school and studying is not the end on and be all of life. There are many other ways to express yourself and be successful doing something else. School needs to focus on the arts and they need to give as much importance to the arts as they do to subjects like maths and science. 
study and getting into an amazing university isn't the only way to become successful. If you do something you like, personally for me making music, you can be successful. Besides having these challenges, I've come up with three albums. Music has changed my life. I also want to inspire people who aren't good at studies and find it challenging that you could always use the arts to express yourself. I also feel like music can be healing for a lot of people as it has been for me. When I'm making music, I don't feel like I have ADHD. I don't feel like I have a problem focusing. In fact, I can hear all my emotions through music. I personally don't feel like I have a challenge or disability when I'm making music. To be honest, it feels like I'm completely fine. My mind works really fast and the creative side comes out of me. Something that makes me feel really happy. Now, because of music, every day is fun again. Every day feels like a new beginning. I can fulfill my creativity and collaborate with my boys. My boys, it's back to that Pakora life with a sprinkle of Kanye. Thank you very much. Thank you.